Prior to commencing hydrodissection, decompress the anterior chamber slightly by pressing downwards on the posterior lip of the corneal section. This allows excess viscoelastic to be released. A 27 gauge hydrodissection cannula is then used to inject with. The cannula is inserted below the rexus by raising the rexus edge slightly. This facilitates cleavage of the cortex from the nucleus. The cannula should then be pushed slightly further and the injection made quickly enough to facilitate dispersion of the fluid behind the posterior face of the lens. Always watch to see if the fluid is spreading properly. The position of the needle can be changed to another area if adequate hydrodissection has not occurred, as in the first video, or if it appears to have occurred but the lens is still not free to rotate, as is shown in the second video. When hydrodissection is complete, mild downward pressure on the lens will decompress the capsular bag and avoid subluxing the lens into the anterior chamber. Finally, by rotating the nucleus, one can be sure that the lens is mobilized prior to commencing phacoemulsification.